Blibbity blobbity bloop. Hey everybody, welcome back to Song of Horror. Yeah. So I played episode one quite a while ago. Uh, and I think when episode two came out, I was either busy recording something else, or I got sick, or something happened where I didn't do it. And then episode three, four, and five came out, and I was just like, ugh. <laughs> That's so much to do now. But, this is a patron pick. Yeah. I have a Patreon, if you didn't know. Patreon is a monthly subscription service. Helps me do what I do. For $1 a month, you get access to my Discord server, and you get to see the Patreon-only videos I do. Uh-huh. Uh, right now I'm doing, I think, two a month. Uh, I'm going to ramp that up soon to, like, three or four. Yeah. Um, at $5 a month, you get your name and my credits. Then at $10, you get to pick a game I play. So thank you to Tiny TYTY. Is it Tiny Thank You Thank You? <laughs> uh, ThunderBZ, Birdfoots, Jared, and GamerGirl201. GamerGirl201 actually is not a patron of mine. Uh, but she has been requesting I play Song of Horror for a long, 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 long time. In fact, uh, Mike, include that screenshot. Yeah, very persistent. So this one's for you. <laughs> yeah, cool. So this is episode two, Eerily Quiet. Really excited for this. I really liked episode one. And this is, this is the ending of episode one right here. Oh, she crunchy. <laughs> she needs some lotion. Well, well. It appears as though the Prince of Slumber will be granting us an audience. How are you feeling, Your Highness? That oh, accent. Oh my God. I had, I had a dream. I. I'm okay. Thanks for coming, Lydia. You had us all on tender hooks. When I found you. <laughs> my God, Daniel. I'm glad to see you awake. So, I'm better. I'm, I'm fine. By the way, I found a note at the Hasha house. It- Daniel, the doctor said you need complete rest. Complete. I'm fine. I can talk. Really. <laughs> I found this. Apparently, Hasha received a music box from an acquaintance of his. A certain Mr. Farber. It seems as though he was researching the music box when he vanished. And from what Faber says, the music box may be related to everything that has happened. I'm not sure we should stick our nose into this business after everything that's occurred. She may be right, Daniel. I'm sure the police are very close to finding out where Husher is. Do you think the police would have found me? We need to find. No, they would Husher. just beat the shit out of you. I saw you. the box that Faber describes in this letter, but it wasn't really there. It was as if it were on the other side of. Oh, I think we should pay a visit to this father and ask him about the music box and Husha. He has a shop in the city, not far from here. Daniel, please. I'm fine, really. I think going to a shop and asking the owner a few questions falls within the range of what we can do, don't you? How long was he trapped in the basement, though? Like, wasn't it a while before we got him out? Yeah, we can play as Sophie, uh, who I believe is who we played as last time. Uh, so she gets a special power. It's the scented candle. Whenever I light one, everything around me feels safer and more peaceful. So basically, like, is like a ward against the spirits or something. Uh, there's Erica Farber. She has a radio cassette player, my favorite music, ready to listen to on the go. Helps me focus and remember who I am. So I guess, again, helps kind of retain her sanity. We have a cop, and he has a gun. <laughs> Ulcered and secured, as per safety regulations. I hope I never have to use it. Then we have Daniel. Uh, if I had to lose it all to find myself, I had to lose it all to find myself. I don't want to want that to happen again. And it's a little coin, badge of preservance. I think I'm gonna stick with her, or Sophie. Yeah, let's do that. So I have the haikus from the. Yeah, but I don't have any bonus stuff. Okay. I wonder how I get those. I wonder if it was, like, a secret thing from episode one or something. And I got a lot of shit last time because I died as her one time. Uh, and I was like, oh, fuck that. So I, re I restarted. 
Uh, and people were like, "That's th that defeats the whole point of this kind of game. So if I die, I won't restart. I'll just cancel the whole fucking series. How about that? <laughs> October 1st, 1998. Lighting a candle outdoors. Nice. Uh, have to look down at it. Looks like the shop has all kinds of antiques. Sadly, you don't see many of these in business anymore. Lock needs a key. Okay, so one of the planners. Uh, I think I saw something in the flower pot. Uh, yeah, antique shop. Sweet. I love the the looking system in this game. I always thought that looked really cool. Uh, oh, uh -huh. I have to I have to use the item on it. Uh, use. Yes. Open. It's gonna take me a second to remember like completely how to play. I oh, meant to check the umbrellas, but that's fine. Face is dingy. The okay. lights are on. Lights are on, but no Let's one's see home. Let's whether Farber is around somewhere. Okay, I got a metal hanger. No wire hangers ever. Uh, books on history of art. I recognize most of them from my university days. Huh. <laughs> Antique statuettes made of bronze. An old diving helmet. Okay. Plenty of room underneath. Oh, that's right, because we can hide. So whenever she mentions... And she mentions things about space. That's a hiding spot. Uh -huh. Read? Dear Isaac, I'm sorry about your trouble getting to sleep. Uh, if it is any consolation, I have been suffering the same plight recently myself, or perhaps due to the imminent proofreading of my novel. Uh, so every time I read, start reading notes, I get really burpy. If quality can be measured by the time invested, it should be one of my finest works. However, I suspect that uh, that this is not always the case. Despite everything, I found a bit of time to look into your mysterious music box. Based on the carving and the wood, I am certain that it is European from the late 19th or early 20th century. I also noticed that it is of extraordinary quality, perhaps a real luxury item back in this era. Or back in its era. I will continue my research. Get well soon, Sebastian P. Husher. Bookshelf full of boxes. Okay. Uh, anything else in here? Like, you? No? Okay. Gallery. Door closed. Enter. Ask at the counter. Alright. Dressmaker's dummy. I realize putting a head on these would not be practical, but at least they look less sinister. An acoustic guitar. Okay. Oh, that said, it seems used. Uh, I want to consider it an antique. Suitcase must be ancient. All right. Spyglass is beautiful. Okay. Cannon brings back memories. I don't really want to just like examine stuff. Like I want to get stuff like that will help me progress. <laughs> Jack in the box. It baffles me that anyone would like this kind of thing. I agree. It's full to the brim with antiques. The shop selection is quite impressive. Faces look old. Okay. Uh, old pictures and journals belong to God knows who. Nothing interesting. A full suit of armor from the Middle East. Or Middle Middle East. <laughs> from the Middle Ages. Judging by its quality, I'd say it belonged to a nobleman. Okay. Let's check out the bathroom. There's always something in the bathroom. Like you. Hello. Spray bottle. 
Mirror's broken to pieces. There are still shards everywhere. What happened here? Towels are stiff and dusty. Okay. Sweet. So I got a spray bottle. So if I find, like, a cat up on a countertop, I can be like, hey. Decorative shotgun. I'm no fan of firearms, but I wouldn't mind carrying one with me right now. Then... Take it. Go back to this side. Books and scrolls. Uh, there's a replica of the Treaty of Paris signed in 1814. Hey. Old medical kit. That's more sterile than it ever was back in its day. That is probably actually very true. Large display with all sorts of antiques. Hey. Okay. Uh, replica of the 16th century. Oh, that van going through the past the window scared me. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh what? Huh. Huh. Interesting machine with an ugly figure inside. Seems to be designed to put some kind of special token inside. Yeah, it reminds me of the the thing from Big, where he's like, I want to be, I want to be an adult. I can't find it. I can't remember where I stored that blasted, mu blasted music box. I thought I left it with the rest of the lot, didn't I? Yes. Otherwise, where could it be? In this lot, there was also a wardrobe full of dry blood stains. We took it out into the courtyard and dragged it into one of our storage rooms in the basement, but which one did we place it in? I can't remember what color or shape it was. What's wrong with me? Uh, it could possibly, uh, I could, could I possibly reveal the blood left behind somehow? I would have to buy luminol, right? That's what the police use. Perhaps that way I could find... Oh, that's what the spray bottle is going to be for. Okay. Uh, find a lot of products containing uh, containing the wardrobe. What? In the box with it. Sebastian says I must return it to its original owners. The Lagrant Osborne family. If I can manage that, will this madness come to an end? Under the counter, I see cheap replicas, keychains, and coins. Nothing interesting. Well, that machine takes coins. Uh, on the counter is... Oh, nope, I don't want it. The till. Also antique. Looks fully functional. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Some kind of electrical... Room. Oh, this is... This will open that door. Okay. Uh, statuettes, ornaments, scrolls, books. Nothing all that valuable. And certainly nothing useful. Okay. So when I had to read shit like that, where it's like, this is all trash. Why are you reading this? I'm like, you're the one that put it there. Uh, 1484 Treaty of... Ooh. Tortillas. <laughs> That's definitely not that word, but whatever. <laughs> Tor Tor Tordesia. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> I wonder when this replica was made. It seems really old. More antiques. All right. Uh, there's some really old books here. The store has an extraordinary array of items. Uh, must cost a fortune. All right. Space underneath. Cool. Huh. Oh. Huh. Japanese food uh, from the... Wait a minute. What's in the mouth? Hmm. Huh. Oh, hey. I got one of the, the coins for the, that machine. Anything else on you? Okay. Candelabras... Biographies. Uh-huh. Uh, steel security grating blocking the drawer. Something really important inside. Okay, I think that's it over here. Side. Can't go that way. Also, how you doing, everybody? Hope you're doing well. Mm -mm. Alright. 
Um, did I miss a door? Oh, well, I have all those coins. And they haven't showed me the ghost yet, so I don't, I don't think I need to be worried about listening to doors quite yet. Here you go, buddy. Uh. Hey, I'm not. Uh, huh. Huh. there's something uh, you forgot. Remember it, and you'll be blessed. Uh, what? Okay. What did I forget? Let's see. Oh, there's an exit over here. Locked. Okay. Uh, use. Yes. Yeah. Now I can open. Okay. Oh, she threw away the key. Okay. Oh, you got. Mm, it's kind of covering up the items I have. Whatever. I don't think it's. I don't think it's that big of a deal. <laughs> mm mm. Is that, is that thunder or is that growling? <sighs> okay, those are all locked. Hmm. Huh. Isaac Farber, hey. Mm -mm. Again, candle in the rain. Everything looks abandoned. Hello. Uh, these bikes look like they've been outside for ages. Okay. Pull anything out of the trash. Things are full of rubbish. And soon they'll be full of water. Ugh. Hello. You fucking idiot. Absolute buffoon. All right, so I gotta figure out where that goes. Oh, it's probably in that back hallway. Uh. Uh. Lift button. Wonder if it works. Okay. I'm gonna guess no. And the scary music is building up, so I can tell something's about to start happening. Let's see. While on rounds... Oh, what is this? End of shift report. Uh, Walter Sullivan. Code 093... Okay. 534. So I wonder if that's maybe like a door code for something? While on rounds, I detect a small leak in one of the water pipes. I place a bucket under it and send a notice to the buildings and shearers. 1.13 a.m. I hear someone pounding on the main door coming from outside. I approach and ask who is there with no response. The pounding stops. When I open up, I see nobody in the street. 4.40 a.m. I think I hear a melody playing behind me. I go out into the inner courtyard and find Mr. Isaac Farber, barefoot and wearing nothing but a pair of pajamas, or a pair of blue pajamas. His eyes are closed. His hands are uh, in his hands. He is holding a music box, which play, which he plays, which plays as he walks slowly. He ignores me when I call to him and enters the door leading to the sh to his shop. Uh uh. Need the doorman's keys. That is dead. Uh, I wonder if one of these like I wonder if this is going to be like a puzzle later like I have to oh. 
Oh, I saw something behind it. Yeah. Huh. Okay, try that later. Road leads to the street. I'm not leaving till. Okay. Yeah, what, what is this? I'll just come back to that later. Uh, you're saying service window. I, oh, keys on the other side. Okay. It would take me hours to hook the keys with this, but maybe if I use glue or something on the end of it. Okay. So yeah, I guess let's, let's go back to the, oh, we still have to explore the rest of the courtyard too. That high pitched squeal that's going on. Please stop. <laughs> uh, garage doors are closed. Okay. Uh, someone has bolted it. Okay. Like there's something on the table. Could I get in there somehow? Yeah, there's a hatch open up there. If I need to approach it from like the second floor. Mm -mm. Someone's locked from the other side. All right. Tools, Wibro. Yeah, it looks like a janitor shed. Got it. Mm -mm. I bet all these are going to be locked. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Uh, oh, there's something in the rubbish. Oh, it's another uh, one of those coins. Huh. Huh. Come on, look at the grill. I know anybody throws barbecue parties out here. The grill looks pretty abandoned. Entrance is locked. You're locked. All right. Um, nothing there. Cool. Let's head back in the shop. Let's use that coin. They've yet to show me the show me a ghost. Or like a spooky thing, so I'm not too sure if I need to be careful yet. So I feel like in episode one they were like, hey, here is a ghost. This is what you need to watch out for. <laughs> Starting now. What was that sound? Reinforced door isn't going to let a sound through. She looks angry about that. Okay, uh, let's use the coin. Nom nom nom. Inspect. <laughs> play and win, play and lose. Having doubts, go right through. TV. Oh. Incoming jump scare in like three, two, one. That was actually like perfect timing. Holy shit. Do y'all think I play too many horror games? That thing. <laughs> Don't know what it was, but it's gone. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Turn around, turn. There we go. When the camera changes like that, it like sometimes flops your uh, your controls. And it's really weird. We meet again. Let's see. What was? Uh, inspect. Huh. Uh. Mm -hmm. Can I combine you with the... Mm -hmm. Hey! 
That's adorable. I like how it wraps around the magnet like that. Okay. So that's locked. All right, so let's head. Now we have to head back to get those keys. It's not letting me listen to the door. I'm like, <laughs> just, I'm just waiting for it now. I'm like, okay, wh where is it? Come on. Yeah, none of the doors can be listened to right now. No, nope, that one can, but I can't go through that one. And surely I don't have to worry about the courtyard. The silence. Ooh. Oh, that's why the episode's called Eerily Quiet. It can't see you, but it sure can hear... Wait, yeah, it can't see you, but it sure can hear you. Running is futile. You need to keep calm and stay quiet. In order to do so, you need to control your breathing by gently moving... Uh, okay. The triggers? Try to keep the white circle as close to the frame as possible. If it feels your presence, it will come closer and closer with each mistake you make. Don't let it reach you. Okay. <laughs> What? That was like instant. Oop. There we go. Okay, I'm doing pretty good at this. There we go, yeah. Only goofed once. I have no... No words. I have no words, y'all. Shut up. Let's see. Use... Oh, okay. I guess I don't get to actually watch it. Uh -huh. Dorman's keys. Sweet. So does it mean I can open this door? Hmm. Let's listen first. End of shift report. Okay, uh, this is the daytime shift. Code is 55173. Incidents. 851, the plumber from the insurance arrives and repairs the leak in the pipe. I sign the insurance claim form. 1012, a package is delivered to block two, flat 3B. Nobody is home, sorted in the doorman's desk. Okay. So I wonder if I need to find that. Uh, Mr. Isaac Farber is asked about the incident which took place the night uh, during the night shift. He seems to be confused and not to know uh, what I'm talking about. And appearing upset, he asked many questions. I offer to call a doctor, but he assures me he is fine. Door to door salesman is found trying to sneak into the inner courtyard. Actually, I'm outside the, out of the building. Self security monitors, but no one is watching. Okay. Here's the key to the switch you'll find on the shop counter. In case anyone needs to access the exhibit gallery, uh, there are security cameras. What, what key? There's a note, but no key. Oh, how am I not surprised by a workstation with an obscene poster? 
get over it. Oh, I didn't listen. Notices and uh, reminders for the doorman. We'll see several complaints. One signed by Eric Harper. Oh, this unlocks the door? Where does this drop me out at? Oh, awesome. Okay, yeah, let's go back through here. How about you? Okay, that seems fine. Oh, here's the key. Huh. Here. Uh, I think Poser has to do the TV show. I'd much rather read a good novel. Shut up. <laughs> oh, you're so sophisticated. I get it. I can't open those. cleaning cart and judging by the mug this is a man's bathroom wait why is there a bra though yes bottle full of antiseptic uh combined with the spray bottle mm -hmm. okay i guess not you're in the seat okay hadn't been clean got it so i wonder what, what i do with that peroxide Uh, let's see. Let's go back out here, because there was that... That door that was down at the end of the hallway that was locked. I wonder if my doorman key can work on that. Then also I have that latch now to get me into the... That one exhibit room. Okay, let's listen first. When my heart's beating fast like that, does that mean that, like, spooky shit is more likely to happen around me? Oh, I don't like this room. Okay. Uh-uh. Uh, building storage. Can I... Mm -mm. Oh, dear. Not the right key. Okay. Bad sound. Okay. Why am I in this like why am I in this fucking spooky fucking boiler room? Old tools and pig hands, right? Okay. Wait, hold on, was there So are these hints? The crawling ones uh, listen behind the mirror. Don't let them out. Okay. Okay, and I got a wrench. Sweet. Okay. Let's get out of here. Let me check this door one more time. Let me see, like, if they left. Nope. Bye, bye, bye. And how do I... Tutorials, documents, and items? Yeah, how do I... I want to get to my documents. Oh, here they are. 
Wrinkle piece of paper. Uh, oh, here we go. Yeah. Read. Damn, Walter. What what the hell have you done? I found traces of mud on the stairs to block floor. Or block four. Which lead down to the window on the first floor. I know it was you. Plus, you ruined the handle on the window. Have you gone mad? I've informed the building handyman so that he can fix it as soon as possible. I don't know what the hell is up with that girl, and I really don't give a damn. Stop screwing around and start behaving yourself. May uh, turn out she's not hysterical, as you claim, but rather that you are one big weirdo. This last time I'm putting uh, my arse on the line for you. Arse. Fun word. Okay. It really bothers me I can't listen to this door. Boop you. So since, oh. Yeah, do I need to look at the screen first? Make sure it's not standing there. Okay, hmm. seems fine. Just a showroom. Yeah, something tells me there's more than that in there. Okay, I was really worried that, like, as soon as I opened the door, I was gonna die. Old books, mass scrolls. Okay. Oh, what's that sound? Jewelry. Alright. That picture is fucking creepy. Huh. She sounds like a. Oh. Oh, shit. Okay. Ooh, I wonder if any of those codes uh, will be the... Sorry. Will be the, uh, the digit for it. Let's see. Was it you? Yeah. I don't, know if you can, I don't know if you can hear the puppy mm -hmm. barking. And beauty. Mike, include picture of puppy. Let's see, where's my pen? Here it is. All right, so I need to run. Let's try zero, nine, five, three, four. And then there's day shift, which is. Five, five, one, seven, three. Let's see if any of these are the right ones. No, these are all a digit too short. Yeah, because there's a one, two, three, four, five, six. And those were all five digits. Okay. So I'll come back here. Oh, that's right. I can't listen through the door because it's too thick. Okay. Um, let's light that again. So what do we have that's different now? Like... Mm -hmm. He fits in the lock, okay? Before I... This reminds me of Fatal Frame. The camera obscura. Uh, Isaac, I'm afraid it's too late. <laughs> I have heard the melody. Catherine and children have too, just once. Nothing will happen to them, will it? Dear God, that melody. Something is different inside my head. It's making me see things I don't understand. Things I would rather not continue seeing. I'm so sorry, Isaac. But I feel forced to send the music box back to you. I will keep researching it, but I don't want to have it anywhere near me. I must think of my family. Take care of yourself. Uh, please forgive my lack of courage. Ah! Ah! Oh my God! Uh... Uh... Oh, shit! Oh, shit! 
I forgot about this part. There we go. I forgot about that mechanic, so I was just standing like an idiot trying to get my incense Damn out. Damn it, that was close. Uh, Dutch, okay. If it's baroque, don't fix it. So I got a letter. Oh, nope. Here, can I... Examine. Feel safe. Uh, wow, 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 wow. Go and use it. Mm. Are you done? And I can't listen for some reason. What do I do? Let's try one more time. Yeah, there was just no listen prompt. That's so shady. I don't like it. Let's unlock this door, too. Okay. That mannequin fucking got me for a second. I was like... Foxes and shit. All right. Uh, nope. Huh. Here. I don't... Mm -mm. Especially after seeing the haiku was like something about a mirror. It's like no thank you. I'm not I'm not touching that. Let's see. So I have a wrench. I don't know exactly what that goes to yet. Um, all right, maybe it's time for me to cut and explore a little bit, try to figure out what is up. Thing is freaking out. I came back in here. I thought I could use this. There we go. I got a key. Okay, I'm getting the. I'm getting the fuck out of here. Go through the door. Is there something in here I didn't have to go do? <sighs> hey, hey everybody. Uh finally found the door. I forgot this one right here. It was really hard to see. Is that a tape? Is that a mixtape? Uh, recording one by Isaac. I had another nightmare last night. I was lying in bed and I felt something staring at me from the corner of the bedroom. I knew that there was something there, something very real. But I didn't dare turn on the light because I didn't want to see whatever it was. I was afraid, afraid of going mad if I did. So, perhaps in a rush of panic, courage or folly, I turned on the light. What a nightmare. Hi. Oh, that, that door is evil as shit.
Someone has bolted it. Good, good call. I like the up there. Father, I kept a copy of the a uh, copy of the key to the house in the display case in the showroom. And so the Chinese puzzle, uh, oh god. I would have left it at the store for you, but I don't trust the doorman. Uh, I provided you a reminder of the combination on the back of this note in a somewhat cryptic form, though, just in, okay. A b b b b b b b b b b b b b Ultra be reading this, take a hike. Alright, so here. So is this literally just the code right now? So like eight five Is that fourteen? Two eleven. Can't write it in written okay. That's a question mark. Got it. Okay. Here we go. We. Alright. Let's go to the case. Bibbity blobbity. Uh. Eight. Five. Oh, I get it. One. Oh, oh, shit. Uh oh. What? Four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so here, this one, she said, like, I can't write it down in Roman numerals. How are you supposed to be 11? Hey everybody. So I realized I unlocked this door with the copper key, but then like walked away because I thought I, I, I maybe I read it wrong or something. I don't know. I've been walking around for like 45 minutes trying to figure out what the fuck to do because I couldn't figure out how to make 14 become possible on that that slide My wheel. Hair so I'm is hoping. standing on end. Something. Something is very wrong here. Uh oh. Okay. It's... Oh. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, this. This seemed fine. Uh, lamp has an ultraviolet bulb. Should I take it? Uh Okay, I was gonna say like did I actually get it? Hold on, what is what is this? Shut up. Photos a woman, uh okay. Turn the TV off. Uh didn't expect that to sound uh didn't expect it to sound like that. That was just plain sinister. It wasn't that bad. You're being a little dramatic. T set. Okay. Uh. Read. This from Sebastian to Farber. Hope you're feeling better, or at least a bit more calm. I know uh, who made the box, but he died years ago. His name is Argo Lagrand. Uh, yeah. I was trying to think. Like, did I pronounce that right? Probably not. But whatever. Uh, as soon as I find out more, I will let you know. Uh, I believe the key lies in returning the box. If you have the list from the auction at which you purchased it, you can surely locate the former owner. I think things have improved since I sent it back to you. Yes, I'm positive. Huh. So is it like... It's kind of like it follows, except in reverse. You have to, like, go backwards through the chain, I guess? Whatever. Uh... Looks like someone was reading the morning paper on the sofa. It's a month old. Okay. Get more books.
Uh, the painting is hideous. I'd say early 20th century, nothing valuable. Okay, should I put that bolt back in? Can I? Uh oh, okay. You seem fine. This apartment's fucking ooky spooky. Uh, pile of dishes in the sink. Uh, coffee for several people, but it seems I never got around to drinking it. What a waste. Mm, that hurts yes. my heart. Uh, instruction on keys, a reminder, okay? Uh, dear daughter, I have tried to arrange the keys for you. The one on the right hand column are old keys. I only keep them just in case. The colored metal keys are for the security door to the shop and the locks. The square gold keys and the black plastic, plastic, what? Black plastic keys are for all the devices and apparatuses in the shop. Uh, the round and triangular silver keys are the copies you made for the old display cases. Okay. The round green plastic key is for your motorcycle and the red plastic key is for the safe small gold key is the little box you uh for wait little box with your mother's things there uh there the other three are for the storage rooms and the warehouses okay sweet so i know the what the keys mean pet food uh -huh. i can't think of any insect vorious pets but this is the kind of food they eat, okay. I'm trying to think of what eats, like, hmm. ashtray is full to the brim, and the fags look recent. <laughs> That's the next thing I'm gonna start saying to my friends when like, they're looking good. Oh, this fag looks recent. <laughs> my roommate's behind me right now, so. I hope you won't be shocked if I say, damn girl, you looking recent. <laughs> the fags look recent. That got, that legit, sorry, I'm gonna talk to him really quick. <laughs> the game is set in uh, Europe, or the well, UK. Yeah, that's, that's, that, was, that was my assumption. <laughs> so whenever I read that, I was shocked for a second. I was like, <gasps> ah! oh. Sophie, get moving. Um, hey. I just, I literally just got back and immediately I'm being attacked. Uh, I need to find a place to hide. Over there. Hide and click. That was very lucky. Oh, this is easy. I like these. I just need to hit the buttons when the circle's like on the far outside because it calms me down. And sometimes they will shriek one more time. And I just gotta calm back down. Yeah, easy. I like that one a lot. That one's that one's simple. That was almost the end of me. Erica, I hope you are the one to find this, my daughter. I have had a few problems. Some sort of nightmares or visions. I don't know what to call them. I'm exhausted. I have a hard time falling asleep. And the doctor believes it's stress. But I suspected something else altogether. That blasted box. Sebastian, yes, you've got to find Pusher. Sebastian Pusher, the professor. My friend, or so he said. Find him and ask him how he did away with this. Ask him whether he also saw things. Ask him why he's abandoned me like this. Ask the black figure. Those who crawl do not want to see it. They crawl. And the noise they make. No, don't ask. Don't get near. I can't sleep because of that noise. Because they dragged me away too. 
They are taking me. The black figure. I don't want to see it either. The figure. Please. Whatever you do, don't listen to the box. Is this a Ouija board? Huh. <laughs> huh. Uh, Ouija board. Farber uh, has tried absolutely everything he could think of. A bottle and a Bible. Sounds like my mom's usual Friday night. Circle piece. Uh, wooden circle. Okay. Paintings. Some bullshit. Pills. Pills. Jesse Pills. I need them, Zach. I need them to sing. Jesse, you can't sing like this. I'm so excited. I'm so scared. <laughs> Say by the bell. Anybody? Anybody? Okay. That seems fine. Oh. Uh. What a gem. If, if it still works, that is. All right. Let's see. Oh god. This one right here. That one fucking got me. It took me a second to figure out what I was looking at. That one fucking got me. Uh, train bottles ready for mix. Oh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. So I don't have all the ingredients yet because there's a big minus thing. Unless I can go, like, use? Huh. Want to mix anything? I'll need more ingredients. All right. Ooh, that one, the bottom one, is good. I like the shadow. Eh. Film developing? Okay. So I need to come back here once I find more chemicals. Okay. Listen. Okay. Bathroom. Bathroom's always with chemicals. And scares. A shattered mirror. Yeah, so that mirror that I almost pulled the cover off of earlier, I'm pretty sure that's gonna kill me because they've they've smashed all the mirrors. Except for the little vanity mirror right there. Gotta see the pores. Old bathtub. Dripping faucet makes me nervous. Okay. Okay, there's nothing in the bathroom. Barber family photographs. Alright. Um, let's try this one first. Another bathroom. Wait, was that? Are the bathrooms like back to back? I guess one has a bathtub, one has a shower, but like, what? Turn around. Photographs. Why is my heart beating fast? Why is my heart beating fast? Oh no. I hear some swaying. Mr. Farber? Hello? I don't have any keys. What the? Bro, they copied this idea from me. <laughs> uh. I, I did a, a, a game with Akuma Kira. It was a DLC, or a free DLC for uh, uh, Lost in Vivo. And mine was called The Way Out. And in one scene, like, a bunch of nooses appear. And you have to, like, pick a good one.
Oh my goodness. And I love the light coming through and swinging like that. So good. <laughs> That's gross. Ooh. <laughs> Bro. That's awesome. Hey, everybody. Um, so I had, a, I had a thought. So I was, I was like, how the fuck can 14 turn into E? And I was like, oh. Here, let me let me just do it really quick. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So the combination was eight, five. Nope, that's three. Five, fourteen. So it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Two. 11, so that would be 8, 9, A, B. And then this one said they couldn't do in Roman numerals. So, 0? Hey! Mm -hmm. huh. yeah. Let's combine you with this. So this also had a Chinese thing mm -hmm. on it. Okay. Uh, this is where you start. Nope. <laughs> Damn it. Did not mean to do that. How do I... Hmm. Can't move that one. Oh, here we go. Yeah. It's like that. And then, but I bet... Like that. I bet if I move one of these... Oh, never mind. Yeah, there we go. That's that Tom Frillery I was thinking of. Hey, everybody. Uh, I just realized this piece can move. Huh. Okay, so it's definitely connected to the first piece. So let's do that. But then I think this one moves the rest of them. Let's go, like, down to connect that. And then... That fucks that up. But, like, I think I can do... Which one? Okay, these two are connected. Let's go and just move you up. You down. Ah, fuck. Ah, no, I almost had it. Oh, what if I do that? And then... Shit. Alright. I almost have it. I almost have it. Ah! Hey, there we go. I got a... Is this a Cthulhu keychain? Bro, that is cute as shit. I actually want one of these. Uh -huh. Keychain. Okay, cool. Um, I don't know where that's gonna... That could get me into... One of the bedrooms. Um, yeah, that could get me into one of the bedrooms that was locked back in the apartment. So let's run back up there. That was a fun puzzle. Like, as soon as I, I figured out, or as soon as I realized, like, oh, like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, A, B, C, D, yeah. As soon as I figured that out, I was, I felt so dumb. Oh, 
Can I can I hold him really quick? I'm re I'm recording, so. Okay. I mean, I I'm gonna edit this, however. Oh, give me the baby. Give me the baby. Everybody say hi to Inky. He's all stinky. <laughs> Look at him. What do you have to say? Trans rights or human rights? Defund the police. Well, I can listen to this one now. Uh. Hey! There we go. I was running around checking, like, being like, what the fuck? What do I do? Abandoned gas tanks? Okay. Um. Can I just go in? Mm mm. Uh uh. Mm -mm. Not the right key. Do I have any other keys I can use? I don't. Hey. Um, just realized I can probably get to that shed now. From one of these windows. Yeah, let's go oh, here. Maybe like one more floor down. Let's go look at this window. Um, <laughs> yeah. Jump right in. Perfect. Oh. Damn. Uh-huh. Walter Sullivan, security. Uh, agent number 09534. Did I write that down? I don't, I don't know if I need to. Whatever. Ooh. Combine with the... Yes. Yes. <sighs> okay, nothing useful. Uh, go away, door latches. Oh, boy. All right. Um, so now I have a UV light. I could take it back up to the apartment um, to look at that one painting, possibly. I'm going to walk around some more in this apartment building and try to figure out what those keys go to. Hey, so I looked at my footage. I'm pretty sure she lives here. <laughs> Everyone was like, all those mailboxes, they have to mean something. Yeah. It was saying that she lives on, uh, in building four, level three, apartment C. Is somebody there? Tell me well to figure that out. All right. I like her Let's jackets. Take a look. The other jacket has the craziest designs. Not my style, but I can see their appeal. That's that's good. At least she's being like, okay, not my not my thing, but I get it. Not being like, ugh. Read. Erica, come see me when you read this. I couldn't find the luminol. I think it's in your locker, but you have the key, or you have left the key in a trouser pocket as usual. Ah. Uh, when you find it, get some hydroperoxide, which I have. Come home and mix them up as follows. Put mill milliliters of stabilizer. Okay. One milliliter of something. Blah, 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 blah. Sweet. Uh, listen. like that tapestry up there. And also right there. Never mind. I don't like it anymore. <laughs> Parties, interrail, festivals. All right. Okay. Another bathroom. Uh, cabinet has a small lock. Seems sturdy. Oh, I guess I got rid of the, uh, uh, the, the what's it, what's it's, the key to her place. 
Wish I had a big stand-up shower like this. Damn, Erica. You got a nice bathroom. Also like that tile in there, too. Hmm. Huh. The Rose Maze. I've seen that three or four times. I, I love how the horror elements make it an even better film. I've, is that a real movie? Oh, gross. I know what the pet food goes to now. There's a, there's a scorpion right there. Okay, I got a guitar and shit like that. Uh, classic horror stories. Okay. Uh, you. I'm sorry, why would you keep a scorpion as a pet? Well, here you go, dude. Uh. Oh! Ah! Oh, like the, oh, there's a coin in there. Never mind. No. Uh, use the pet food, bro. The spider went off and enjoy her dinner. I don't see her anywhere. Now I can take that coin. Huh. Yes. Thank you. Uh, now. So I have nothing for you, Scorpion. Feel bad. I'd rather feed a scorpion than a fucking spider. I hate spiders. For real. Fuck spiders. Ugh. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Uh-uh. If there's one thing we're afraid of, it's fucking spiders. Not not actually fucking spiders. Things that would never happen. Physically impossible. <laughs> yeah, just not a fan of spooters. note. Also, there's a puzzle right there. Oh, that's right! I gotta I gotta be like, hey. That, that note being like, hey, here's how you hang all the keys. A ghost, monster, demon, my own insanity. She needs to leave this place. In my home, inside the walls, all over the entire building. Wherever I go, with the photographs. They can't be real. Is it me? Where is Simon? Cannot get in anymore. There is something underground. Show them to Erica when she comes back. Do not go downstairs. Okay. Can I turn off? Can I turn you off, please? Okay, travel journals and stuff. I don't give a fuck. Uh, I'm not crazy about looking through people's laundry, but I have no choice. Yeah, cause it said she left the uh, key in, a, in her pants again, right? It's not that bad. It's just clothes. Calm down. You've been, like, running away from actual demons. Oh, okay. So I guess that's it. What? Okay, hold on. Let me get that note again. No, it wasn't that one. Note to Erica? Nope. No, that's note from Erica. Instruction on keys. Okay, so. God damn it. Let me write down the fucking pattern. Uh huh. Hey. Yeah, so if I read the notes and I was like, here are the rooms I need to build or need to get into. Uh. And buildings you need to get into. There's storage, uh, stuff in the main house, and then another room. So I think I'm good here. Honestly, that was also a lot of guessing on my part. Like, I read the note numerous times, and I was like, okay. Okay. I, so I know I need, like, a dirty green key. <laughs> How long have I been recording today? Fuck, I'm at, like, three hours now. Holy shit. Okay. I think I'm actually good here. I might I might be done in her apartment. Yes, 
Yes. Hey. I found a bathroom. Also, you can hear the puppy barking. He's so cute. Shit, nothing here too? God damn. Never mind. I mean, what other doors do I even have in here? I have... I have the... Oh, this is an entirely different room. Okay. So here, let's look around here really quick. Temporary designs. All right. Got some film. Personal notes. More laundry. Do your fucking laundry. <laughs> Look at those shiny panties. Ugh. Shiny fucking panties. That puppy's going wild. He's pissed. <gasps> Smell found it. I almost said smelled it. I was like, uh, and I'll say that for cleaning up panties. Look at all these pizza boxes. What a messy hoe. Damn, bitch, you live like this? Dot PNG. <laughs> Uh, I'm kind of just going through this really quick, trying to figure out what the absolute shit. Yes. Oh yeah, she didn't want to rummage through anymore. Yeah, got it. All right, let me go check on the puppy really quick because he is freaking the fuck out. Hey everybody. Uh. <laughs> Get moving. Uh, shit. No, controls, please don't. Okay. I'm going to the first bedroom right here. And then there's going to be a closet right God place. fucking damn it. I'm trying. Now we need to do the, the thing. Girls, calm down. Hey everybody, what's up? This house fucking sucks. I hate That's it. That's over. Just horrific. Okay. Is this the bathroom? Yeah. Well, this is the mixture area. Uh Hold on. Uh, no, not like that. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. I need to examine. It's 500 milliliters. Huh. Hmm. Okay. What? Well, okay, so I need to do. Of stabilizer. Okay. 20 milliliters of stabilizer. One milliliter of. Okay. Oh boy. Is this the stabilizer? Okay, so that looks like 200 milliliters. Then here's. Uh -huh. One milliliter. Oh boy. How do I... How do I n know? Okay. Man, I'm about to make a fucking bomb. Ah, oh, fuck. C was a stabilizer. Restart. Restart. How do you, how do you unmix chemicals like that? <laughs> okay. All right, uh, C is the stabilizer. I need 200 milliliters of stabilizer.
Dang! Oh my god, yes. Oh, that took me forever! Combine it with you. What? Hold on. Use. Fill that shit up. Perfect, ready to go. Okay. Oh my god. Because it took me a while to figure out what the milliliters were. Because that there's that one skinny tube on C that was milliliters. Straight up, just like, showed like one bubble was 100 milliliters going through. So whenever uh, bottle B needed to be 400 milliliters, it was like, as soon as I heard that fourth bubble, I had to stop. Like, it was, ugh. Sweet. Fucking sweet. Now I bet I can go back to the apartment. Hmm. Let's use you. Nom 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 nom. What's your hint? I see your future. What do I see? Something there that shouldn't be. Fuck off. <laughs> you suck. I hate you. Alright. Ah, uh, fuck. Where, where was I supposed to go? Fuck. Alright. Give me a second. <laughs> hey. So I have, the, I have the key to the storage room. On this keychain. I believe the storage room is... This one right here? Okay. Mm -mm. Yes. Nice. Oh boy. Why is there a cutscene for this? Oh! She's busting out the luminol lamp. Good for her. Calm down. You just have to follow the trail. Okay. This door had a handprint on it. It had a handprint, though. I like that, that spray mechanic, though. That's neat. Oh, God. Okay, so it wants me to go that way. What's down this way, though? This one had a handprint on it. Just thought I would check it out. Uh, okay. I'm I'm gonna move on. I don't understand why that's saying it's a wardrobe. That's definitely a refrigerator. I'm so confused. <laughs> Y'all, I don't like this at all. This one also had a hand imprint on it. Looking at a storage unit with a wardrobe. What? Okay, so I'm looking for a certain something. So I seem to like find the doors that have the handprints and find where he has the wardrobe hidden, I guess? Or, like, what, some, something hidden inside a wardrobe? Oh, boy. Like you. What's your fucking problem? In storage, uh, nothing in this one. God fucking damn it, so what's the point?! This 
to just be like spooky ooky. Cause it's, it's working. This purple light is, I don't know why, like the fact that I'm like looking for, I'm following like a bloodstain trail. With luminol, I'm like, what door do you want me to do? Uh, take a deep breath and keep searching. Not a single stain. Uh, okay. Hmm. So I'm looking for the right wardrobe. I'm so nervous, guys, because like I've I've done so well. Oh my fucking god. for a bit. Oh my god. Okay. My heartbeat's gone down. Is it growling at me again? Do we need to hurry? Like, will it come back? This door? Found it. Oh my god. Ah, this took so long. Oh dear. This must be the wardrobe. What's could anyone ever report about it? It's gone. The box isn't here. I've got it. I've had it all this time. How could it be possible? What the devil is happening to me? I have to get to my office. I must wrap it and send it to its owners. Le Grant Amsberg. They're the ones who... My office. I'm going to... I hear them crawling all over and screaming. Erica, come to my office. We'll all be there. Oh, no. Okay, so this feels like end of game stuff. Alright. That took me so long to get through. I need to pause and just stretch for a second. Oh, I really... At the end of this, I, I might show you guys how long it took me to beat it. So long, like, I'm getting tired. Like, I've... 
How do you get tired from playing a video game? Like, I'm I am mentally and physically exhausted from playing this. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take a break and then we'll we'll finish it. Okay, hey everybody, I'm back. Holy shit. I really hope this isn't as tough getting out. Especially now that I don't have any luminol spray. Oh god. Yeah, I don't have any spray, so like, how do I know? Crowbar, get the fucking crowbar, stupid. Damn it. I was so close. Uh, okay. This bar could come in handy. Let's see if Farber is in his office. Huh? Okay. That seems empty. There has to be something in here, right? <gasps> yes! Ah! That's the last one I needed, I think. I feel like the game's about to wrap up because I've been recording for a long time and I'm pretty sure I'm nearing the end. Oh boy. I've enjoyed this game. Just, man, it's fucking confusing. My brain hurts. It hurts. When I say it hurts, I mean like I am too dumb for this kind of shit. Here you go. Nom 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 nom. Uh. Ah, oh, I got an achievement called Tooth Fairy. Cute. Okay, so now. Oh, fuck. Um. She's gasping like every 10 seconds. It's so annoying. Everything she sees. <gasps> <gasps> ah, 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 look at that. Ah, ah. made one more track around the whole area to try to figure out what to do. I finally that came... Father. Oh, God. I don't even want to think about what must have happened. I got Jimmy called Faster Than Death because I didn't lose my character. Hanging from that noose with the bloody music box on the table next... I don't want to think about it, but somehow, very deep within me, I know the song was playing throughout his agony, stalking him to oh, the very I don't like, frontier ooh, I don't like that. between life and death. I don't like death. that. God. At least we had found the music box, and we knew where it came from. The Grant Amsberg auction, it said, on the list of product lots, alongside an address. According to Husha, things had improved after returning the box to Fava. So by returning it to its owner, perhaps we might be able to solve all this. It sounded unlikely, but considering my hallucinations, hallucinations. I think he found at the antique shop and Mr. Father's terrible end. 
If it could all come to some good, we had to try it. Isolated far from the world, in a holiday manner that must be about 100 so years that's the old, next location. The lady who owns okay. the Sinister Box awaited us. For my little Ariadne read the engraving on the inside of the cover. Good. For her, then. I bet this will start episode three. Well, this doesn't seem like the ideal place to find an old lady. Do you think she still lives here? I don't know. The papers from the auction stated that the owner had sold most of her furniture, but that she still lived here. Mr. Grant? Hello? Hello? This place gives me the creeps. Hello? Are you Miss Legrand? Ariadne Legrand? Amsburg. Arianda Grande? Legrand Amsburg. It's hyphenated. And dehydrated, oh. apparently. Well, my name is Daniel Neuer, and I work for a publishing firm. Through a series of chance occurrences, I found something I believe is yours. It seems Ooh. crazy, but when you listen to it, that's its box. Um, no, I think it belongs to you. On the cover, it says... I wasn't speaking to you. Thank you for bringing it back, Mr. Neuer. Have you listened to it? Um, yes. He has listened to it. Oof. She seems disturbed. She grabbed the music box as if she truly needed it. The important thing is she took it. Let's get out of here. So... That same night... Yeah, so I bet he's gonna wake up again and be like, Why Thanks the fuck? For letting me sleep here. Of course. Whatever you need. Oh, there I'll even let you sleep on the couch. Oh. It's more than enough. Just on the I couch? I just need a couple of nights. That will suffice. I don't feel like staying in an empty house after everything. Her that's necklace going looks on. like Cthulhu. You can stay as long as you want. Just realize that. Seriously. Thanks. At least I know you won't drink my wine. Like it's That'd like a big funny. bulbous head with tentacles coming out. It's like this the sigil for like Hydra. Or some shit. Ah. This is gonna probably be the intro for episode three. What? Hey, Sophie? Oh, no. oh my god. Daniel, are you alright? That was awesome! That had not been a nightmare. Whew, that was I creepy. Was awake, for certain. It was a hallucination. A hallucination like like those described by father in his letter shortly before hanging himself from a beam in his office. A hallucination. Or something worse. Much worse. Had it done any good to return the music box to its owner? His whereabouts was still unknown, and his trail seemed to have gone cold as the days passed by. Perhaps in his office somewhere. The documents he was researching while delving into the box's origins. Maybe there would be some clue in there as to where he had gone or what he had done. Something that would help us to follow his footsteps. I had to find Sebastian Husher, but this time. My life depended on it. And that concludes episode two of Song of Horror. Yeah, I had a lot of fun playing this. Thank you so much for my patrons for requesting uh, I bring back Song of Horror. I'm, um, I'm gonna do, um, um, <laughs> I'm gonna do episode three on Sunday or Monday of next week. And then it's basically gonna continue like that until I beat it. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I had a lot of fun playing this. Um, it took me a lot longer than I want to even say. <sighs> yeah, I'm looking at like five hours playing episode two. 
Took me a while. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna cut this down to like an hour and thirty. So yeah, if you liked it, please leave a like. Uh, yeah. Ooh, fuck. There's so many moments where I was just like, fuck, I just fucked up. My character's dead. She's dead. R.A.P. But I somehow pulled it through. <sighs> now I gotta do episode three. <laughs> no, I really do enjoy this game, though. So, thank you for watching. Uh, please leave a like, and I'll see you on episode three, and also tomorrow with some more random horror games.